In the world of customization, submation is hot, literally. It involves special heat activated dyes being transferred in the process of pressing submation transfers onto poly-based items. Things like polyester apparel, poly-coated coffee mugs, photo panels, award plaques, and many other blanks. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three important tips on how to be successful in submission. Tip number one, equip yourself with the best tools and supplies for submation. When it comes to submission printers, Sawgrass desktop printers like the SG500 and the SG1000 are recommended options. By holding eight and a half by 14 inch paper maximum, the Sawgrass SG500 is capable of printing transfers big enough for the majority of submission blanks. However, if you intend on tackling anything slightly bigger, the SG1000 can hold 11 by 17 inch paper by default. But you do have the option of using a dedicated bypass tray which expands to 13 by 19 inch paper, suited for some of the largest items. If we're talking about printers, we of course also need to talk about ink and paper. For Sawgrass printer inks, Subluchet UHD is best, given that they're the official Sawgrass inks expect excellent color and contrast from transfers printed with them, alongside permanent durability lasting as long as the item submitted with them. By default, Subluchet UHD is available in CMYK cartridges made to fit both the SG500 and the SG1000, though for higher capacity inks on the SG1000, extended cartridges are available exclusively for that printer. When it comes to paper, you can't go wrong with Beaver Paper's TextPrint DT. TextPrint DT comes in two versions, heavy and light. While both papers have been designed with specific submation inks in mind, they're safe to use on any submation printer regardless of ink type. But that's not to say that there's no difference between TextPrint DT heavy and DT light. For more details, be sure to watch our video linked below comparing the two papers printed through a Sawgrass printer. When equipping yourself with a submission heat press, consider not only its size, but also the style. Heat presses come in two styles, clamshell and swing away. Clamshell heat presses are more than enough for pressing most submission blinks, but for thicker items like picture frames, swing away machines can press such items with little to no hassle. After you decide on a style, you can shop for a specific model of heat press. There's a link to our heat press buyer's guide in the description if you'd like to compare our different lines of heat presses. The second submission tip is to rely on a solid source of blanks. In deciding on what apparel to submate, the biggest factor to consider is if it's rich in polyester. White, 100% polyester fabrics are well suited for submation, with such transfers applied onto them, appearing at the best colors and overall quality your printer system can provide. For a more rustic look, poly blend items with at least 50% polyester are also worth considering, especially if you're going after a softer or classic style apparel. With the massive hard submission blanks in the market, it's a good practice to rely on a trusted source for them, especially if they're notable brands. Fortunately, HeatPressNation.com has many popular blanks covered, including keychains from Unisub, photo panels from Chromalux, tumblers from Sublicraft, Orca coated coffee mugs, and plenty more. But before customizing any item, especially if there are hard items limited to submission oven setups, it's best to test them out first before deciding whether or not they're viable for your purpose. As a final tip, you'll want to master how to cleanly press submation transfers to prevent image ghosting and visible press marks on your items. This means you'll need three more essential tools to help accomplish this. Heat tape or adhesive spray, parchment paper, and pressing pillows. Heat tape is a practical way to attach submation transfers onto both soft and hard items. Though for soft items, adhesive spray is perfect as you can lightly spray it on your transfer, then simply attach it to your poly-rich item. Adhesive spray transfers will fully adhere to the item, emitting heat tape press marks entirely. To keep your contents protected upon pressing, parchment paper sheets are crucial tools typically trimmed out of a roll, then placed below and above your prepared items. This is mainly to prevent the transfer's outgassed dyes from reaching to the machine itself, also preventing excess dyes from migrating. Lastly, pressing pillows like soft fusion pressing pillows can effectively reduce press marks for fabric items and apparel. While your polyester shirt may not need a pillow, sliding one inside before pressing your transfer can make a resulting difference as long as your pressure isn't too heavy. So those are three important tips on how to be successful in submission. We're putting links to everything we talked about down in the description. If you have any questions though, feel free to reach out to us at heatpressnation.com support. I'm Travis with Heat Press Nation and have a great day.